friends! In this video, you'll see how heavy actors of the movie Mortal Kombat 1995 changed. I will tell you about the characters of the film, and also you'll see what's with the cast now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Johnny Cage, Linda Nashby, is proficient in martial arts and has acted in films. Dislikes, lies, and distortion of information. For his fighting skills and spiritual qualities, he was selected for the Mortal Kombat tournament. He likes to bicker sometimes and clearly knows how to express his position. Kitana is the adopted daughter of the Emperor and future ruler of the outside world. She is beautiful and somewhat predatory side and is considered one of the strongest opponents. Knows how to achieve her goal despite the obstacles that arise has a sharp mind and cunning, played by Talisa Sato. Shang Tsung is a servant of the Emperor and a sorcerer who masterfully owns black magic and enslaves the souls of warriors, endowing himself with power and energy. He knows how to fight well and not everyone can handle him. Shang is quite cunning and sneaky. He was played by Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa. Lord Raiden is the Lord of Thunder and the patron of the Earth field who perfectly controls lightning. In front of him, many people bow, admire, and even fear. He has wisdom, calmness, and is not devoid of a sense of humor, even in a difficult situation. Doesn't tolerate injustice. Played by Christopher Lambert. Scorpion is a devoted servant of the Emperor and the Sorcerer Shang and is also a member of the Mortal Kombat tournament. He can teleport to any place at will and can release some creatures from his hand. Has white, faded eyes without capillaries. Wears a face mask. The role is performed by Trevor Goddard. Fighting Monk was selected as one of the contenders for the Mortal Kombat. He has a combat-trained body and prefers to wear his hair in pigtails. During battles, he tries to show his danger with all his appearance and often at the same time lets out a groan. The role was played by Hakim Alston. Kano is the enemy of Sony Blade and often makes financially profitable deals no matter what you need to do or who to kill. Has a metal plate on the right side of the face. Played by Trevor Goddard, who died in 2003 as a result of an overdose of temazepam, heroin, wicked, and cocaine. Sub Zero, Chris Casamasa, serves Shang Tsung. He skillfully owns the ability to freeze everything and he is also good in battle, but doesn't try to show off, like many others, how cool he is. He is used to being calm and has a quick reaction. He wears a mask covering the lower part of his face. Art Lee, Kenneth Edwards, was one of the participants who became worthy to take part in the Mortal Kombat tournament. He is a rather simple and good-natured person only when it doesn't concern combat. Impressed by the ability of the members from Shang Tsung's side, he has a small earring in his left ear. Sonny Blade, Bridget Wilson, is at the head of the special forces and doesn't like it when someone tries to help her is used to trusting only herself, always maintains equanimity, has a quick reaction and self-confidence. Sonny is often driven by a sense of revenge when it comes to loved ones. Master Boy, Peter Jason, is a very important person in Johnny Cage's life and it was he who taught him a lot. He enjoys great respect, trust among his students, as he is fluent in combat techniques and can give good advice as well as support. He is a family man and prefers to wear a wedding ring. Reptile, Keith Cook, is a henchman of Shang Tsung. He can move unnoticed and at the same time it's difficult to see him, since he, like a chameleon, can merge with his surroundings. He also has sharp teeth and is able to take the form of a statue. Reptile is distinguished by loyalty and diligence. Chief Priest John Fujioka lives in the Temple of Light 
and is one of the four main monks who make important decisions for all the inhabitants of the monastery, including those regarding the tournament. He has deep wisdom and faith in the common cause, has doubts about you winning the tournament. Director deals mainly with directed films, mostly action movies, and it was in his project that Johnny Cage was last seen before participating in the tournament. He is obsessed with his work, doing many takes until he achieves the desired result and demands the same from others. Played by Sandy Helber. Chan is the brother of Liu, with whom he was very close. He is well versed in martial arts but still they are not enough to resist a truly powerful opponent. Chen is used to acting decisively and is not the kind of person who easily succumbs to fear. He always fights to the end, played by Stephen Ho. Jack is often paired with Sonny Blade and strives to earn her trust, accustomed to quickly report the situation and find out all the necessary details that may be needed during the operation. The role is performed by Gregory McKinney, who died in 1998 as a result of a brain aneurysm. Assistant director Daniel Haggard performs various assignments during the filming of movies and also contacts the actors themselves, passing them information or notifying them of something. He is a little indecisive and is used to dressing discreetly. On the set, he usually wears a cap and a headphones. Grandfather is the only relative of Liu Kang and Chang. He lives among the monks in the Chinese Temple of Light and believes that nothing is more important than peace and that the tournament is the only way that can save humanity. He possesses wisdom and patience. The role is performed by Lai Kino. Liu Kang is an excellent fighter who was afraid to enter the tournament, but everything changed with the death of his brother. He is purposeful and observant, but sometimes he cannot be vigilant enough. He has a toned, trained body, but his height is not too high. The role was played by Robin Shaw. Goro, Tom Woodruff Jr., is at the head of the army of the outside world and in Shokan, he is the prince of the interplanetary field and the strongest among his kind. He is tall and unlike humans, he has four arms. Goro has no hair on his head except all the back on his head where he picks them up in the tail. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.